hello guys welcome to my this video and in this angular tutorial i will show you how to restrict first character zero in a input field and here i will write the all the code is custom code and guys previously i had shown you using a javascript so angular is the little bit of difference so that's why i'm making this video in angular also and guys here you can see i, I want to see i'll uh, show you the first of all demo so first of all here you can see the input field and now uh, suppose if i want to type like any ki any kind of value instead of zero like four six seven any kind of value so you can see i can type and now i can type also zero but when guys i want to type uh, zero so you can see first of all in the first character i cannot press zero i mean i cannot enter zero as a first digit or you can say it first character but after that i can type press zero like suppose here first of all if i type any kind of value instead of zero like two so then after that i can press zero but but as a first first digit i cannot press zero because guys suppose there is the age field first of all you have to be understand the scenario where you can face this type of scenario okay so that's why guys uh, i'm telling you like it's a age field okay so when is a age field and suppose someone's age is up to uh, nine so he cannot write like this okay zero nine he cannot write write like zero nine zero eight as a h okay but suppose someone's age is like 20 so he can write like this way but he cannot write 0 to 0 9 this way so that's why this type of scenario you can face as a uh, as a uh, age field validation okay so that time you have you you may write the uh, you may uh, apply this logic here so guys here i will show you how you can do that so first of all i will open my visual studio code editor so now guys here you can see i have opened app component.html file and app component.ts file in my visual studio code editor because i want to implement this in our app component.html and app component.ts file but if you want to implement it in any other component like home about contact so you can open that and now guys first of all here i will write a container so container is the is not a part of this functionality but i'm adding container because for adding the space in left and right and inside this container i will create an input field first of all so input type is text and now here i will add a placeholder so placeholder is enter h so guys here uh, a placeholder name you can write anything i am i have added placeholder name is age because this type of scenario we can face in H field so th that time we need to validation here so that's why i have added placeholder is h and now first of all i will save and show you the preview here you can see this is the h field is created and now guys here first uh, here now i can place first digit zero you can see it and but now because i didn't add it any functionality yet and now here suppose someone's age is 4 so so he cannot write like this 0 4 okay but suppose someone age is 10 so he can write so that time you can see uh, that time we we can uh, place 0 after one any other character i mean for after first digit okay but as a first digit we cannot like 0 4 this way as a h field okay in a h field so now guys here i will so i will write the code so here first of all i will write a key down method because guys when i will try to down any key from my keyboard so that time i want to fire this method okay so that's why key down method so key down and the method name is restrict zero so method name you can write according to you and now guys here i will like the dollar even so even and now this method functionality i will write in our ts file so i will copy this method name and now here i will go and below the ng on it just i will paste this method and here i have passed the uh, dollar event dollar event is uh, taking the all the event of this input field okay so that time that means guys suppose here if i if i click this input field so it will take click event if i hover this input field so it will take hover event but here you can see dollar event and this method i have passed key down so that means when i will down any key in this input field from my keyboard so that time that event will be fired and it will show what event uh, i have 
fire day so now guys here you can see for this event parameter for denoting this event event parameter here i have to pass another parameter so here i can write event also or any other parameter whatever parameter you will pass here so that will be denotes this event so now here you can pass echo as per your choice so i have passed here event all event and now this and now guys here you, you can see it's showing error because even is here you have to be set a type so i will set the type is any okay and now here first of all i will write the console so console and dot lock and if i console this event so let's check it what i'm getting the output so save and now i will open this console so here is the console and now if i press any value suppose i press zero so you can see it's showing the keyboard event so all the thing you will get here so you can see uh, the key is zero key code is 48 because zeros key code is 48 okay and here you, you can see here uh, character code zero everything code digit zero so you can see here if i press suppose if i press in uh, any character value like uh, a or anything suppose if i press a so you can see here it's a code is key a and uh, everything you will find here okay so now guys i need the value okay so for that here event dot target dot value so let's check it i'm getting value or not so here now if i press so i will remove this console and now if i press anything suppose if i press zero so you can see it's showing zero okay so i'm getting the value so so guys now here i have to be write a condition because uh, like like this way like when our first character will be zero that means this is the value and value dot length length means this one now the length is two so when our length uh, sorry the now the length is one so when the length will be the zero so so that time i will uh, restrict our for zero okay because i cannot add uh, a zero as a first digit so when the length will be zero so that time i cannot press zero so i have to be write condition like this way so here i can write a condition so if if event dot target dot value dot length so when event dot target dot value dot length zero and and event dot key because guys here i want to show you again that is if i press suppose first of all if i comment this and if i write only the event here okay so the zero character code uh, i will show you so now now if i press zero so you can see uh, sorry guys here now you can see uh, everything like key is zero key code is 48 so you can take any uh, anyone from uh, here so I, I will take key so when our value dot length is zero and event dot key is zero zero means guys this one that means here this condition it's denoting like that when our uh, is the length is the zero that means when i will just go to type any value because that time the length is zero and that time if i type the key is zero so that time here i will write event i mean this one this parameter and this parameter denoting this dollar event and this dollar event takes all the event whatever i am using in this input i mean i i am done i have done is uh, this uh, input field okay so this uh, event dot prevent default okay so that means when prevent default means it just it will block 
our any event okay so because event dot pvn default pvn default just block the executing so here the it will block this event and here is the condition so when our value is zero and the key is zero so then that time it will block any kind of event okay so that means i cannot press zero as a first digit so now save and here you can see i cannot press zero here you can see here all the keyboard event is coming zero zero again i will show all the keyboard is event is coming but zero cannot enter here so now if i press anything six then zero so you can see i can enter so hope guys you have understand and if you want have any doubts you can write in comment and if you like this video so don't forget to like and subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get more update in angular javascript or any other technology